Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen and today we embark on a captivating coding journey. We are about to tackle a fantastic problem, the longest string chain. So if you uh, ever uh, pondered how to navigate the world of string and dynamic programming, uh, then you are in the right place. So let's dive in. Let's first understand our mission. We have a list of words and our task uh, is to determine the longest chain we can form where each word evolves into the next by adding just one character without uh, reshuffling uh, its letter. So imagine starting with the word A, then transforming it to AB and so on. So to illustrate this further, uh, let's consider uh, the following words, A, B, uh, B, A, B, C, B, D, A, and B, D, C, A. So those are, uh, yeah, those on example. Yeah, I covered, but never mind. Together, uh, so we will uh, see how we can transform uh, smoothly from A to uh, B, D, C, A. So by adding just one uh, character at each step and the magic lies in the sequence uh, and our approach. So from A, we can go to uh, B, a, then from uh, B, A, we can jump to B, C, A. And as you can see, we add B, then we add C, and then we add uh, D. So our output should be four because we created a chain of length four. So uh, our game plan involves uh, leveraging dynamic programming, and we will start by arranging our words by length. And this strategic alignment ensure that when we assess a word, its potential uh, predecessors have already been evaluated. And uh, here, uh, where the magic will happen, we will compute the length of longest chain ending at each word. So uh, let's dive into code. So, all right, first up, we will sort our words based on length, and this will lay our uh, foundation. So, words sort K Len and DP and max chain will be zero. Uh, so uh, next we set up our dynamic programming dictionary DP and initialize our max chain uh, variable to keep track uh, of our journey. And now as we venture through each word, uh, we will keep adjusting its chain length based on its potential uh, predecessor. So for word in words, dp word one, and for i in range, len words, previous word plus word i plus one, and if previous word in dp, dp word max of dp word and dp previous word plus one. And max chain will be max between max chain and our dp word. And finally, return max chain. Uh, okay, so uh, this is our uh, solution uh, with a string chain length. Uh, so let's run it to verify it's uh, working. So yeah, uh, all good and work uh, perfect. So here uh, we have output uh, four. So now uh, let's submit it also for unsynthesis cases to verify it's working as well. So yeah, as you can see, we beat 85% uh, with respect to runtime and also 77 with respect to memory. So I hope you enjoyed this coding uh, session as much as I did. And remember, it's not just about the solution, but the thrill uh, is about uh, yeah solving it also uh, efficiently. And if you are uh, curious about the uh, problem in other languages, I will provide the link in the description below. And yeah, before uh, I uh, sign out, uh, yeah, if you like it, please uh, leave uh, a comment, like, share, subscribe, 
uh, for more coding adventure, tutorial, machine learning, and uh, much more. And yeah, happy coding, keep practicing, and see you next time.